Now, Butterfingers is not a word I created. Mm -hmm. It's been there in the 17th century. Okay. There's this man called uh, Markham who wrote a book called, I think he called it, The Good Housewife or The English Housewife, mm -hmm. where he talks about the qualities of a good housewife, oh. what she should have. She should not be butterfingered. Oh. Meaning, she should not drop things. Mm. She should be. She should smell good. She should, uh, you know, a lot of oh. things. I'm sure the women now will be up in arms <laughs> when they hear this. But in that century, they could preach. You know, they could, could delineate. They could mm. give you, you know, what the requirements for a good woman. Mm. And uh, in my house, I'm the youngest of eight children. Mm. And uh, we, if, when we drop anything, we'll call the other person butterfingers. Oh. So butterfingers mm. was a word commonly used at home. You butterfingers. You're a butterfingers. And I thought, why not? Because it's cricket, he could drop a catch. And I want to write a funny story because humor is my weakness. I mean, I've always, I don't know, a strength or weakness, I don't know what you can yeah. call it, because I always loved humor. And Definitely that's strength. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so I decided it should be a humorous story, and then there will be some scope for humor if the character is a butterfingers.